Good morning to you all faithful, respected Most Reverend Dr. James Topil, Bishop of our Kohima Diocese, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sister Ansi Vargis, Provincial Superior, MSMHC, Dignitaries, Catechist, Church Leaders, and to you, my dear friends present. Welcome you all to this blessing of the new convent. Though the construction of the convent is not fully furnished yet, we would like to bless on this occasion, uh, auspicious day in the presence of our bishop, priest, nuns, and other lay leaders. We shall proceed to the blessing rite. Before that, we shall sing a hymn to the Holy Spirit. gathered in Christ's name, Christ is there in our midst. We are gathered here to bless this new convent, that the love of Christ will bring together those who in charity and virginity, in poverty and obedience, decide to follow you more faithfully and closely. Relying on the goodness of God from whom all blessings flow, we pray that those who live here will conform their way of life to what they have promised. We ask that with Jesus, they will, they will seek the Father's glory in all things. That praying together with our season, there will be a sign that the church is a praying community. We ask that led by the Spirit, they will continually fulfill their vocation 
so that Christ may always dwell with us. Let us pray. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to the same Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, by your life with Mary and Joseph, you sanctified the life of the home. Dwell with us in our home so that we may have you as our guest and honor you as our head. Hear us, O Lord, your people's prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, be close to your servants who move into this home and ask for your blessings. Make it a place of continuous meditation on your word, of mutual love, of tireless service to others. Make every dwelling place into a holy temple. Grant that the cutting of this ribbon be an assurance of your divine presence in this home, and those who live here may be built up together in the dwelling place of God in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May I now request Reverend Sister Nancy Burgess, Provincial Superior MS MHC, for coming of the reader. To be also followed by unveiling of memorial stone for the convent come, come. by Reverend Father George Bunoli, Financial Administrator. I request Father George Bunolio, Financial Administrator of the Goima Isis, to unveil the memorial stone of us from the domain of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your son. You have chosen us to share the heritage of your people in the realm of light. With the conference we ask you, may the light that brings light to our hearts be the sign of your son's presence among us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let Father Casey James Parish, then we have Sister Molly Christina and his church. 